All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video today. So we are back on the uh, on the Ginu right now. We have some, uh, we got some live shrimp, so check this out. They are in there somewhere. Got about, I think I got four dozen. And uh, we're gonna throw those around mangroves, around docks, around everything around here, looking for things like mangrove snapper, redfish, snook, trout, maybe black drum, sheep's head. And uh, the good thing about live shrimp is that every inshore fish will eat a live shrimp. It's one of my favorite things to throw. I haven't thrown it in the past couple months. I threw them in the winter time a lot, but hopefully we're gonna catch some big fish today. Maybe uh, some eating type fish. I got some ice today and uh, loaded up the box. And one other thing, today's video is sponsored by Mystery Tackle Box. So if you guys don't know what MTB is, Mystery Tackle Box, um, here's the box right down there. Um, I'm gonna pull some, I'm gonna pull at least one bait out of there today. Um, it's basically a box you get once a month in the mail, and uh, it comes with a bunch of cool lures. Gives you an opportunity to try new lures, which is probably my favorite thing about it. I throw lures all the time that I, I've never really heard of, but I get them in the boxes, and they work great. But one of the lures I got tied on right now is a topwater, which is down there on my big rod. So if I see some big snooks sitting around docks, I might throw that topwater at them. Um, but other than that, hope you guys enjoy the video. And uh, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Ooh, almost just fell in the water. Let's uh, let's get fishing. There we go. <laughs> well, first fish of the day is kind of what I was expecting. It was a decent one. Decent one. Get in the boat. Mangrove snapper. That's a nice fish. Let's put him on the ruler. He is 12 inches. He will go in the cooler if I don't get my finger bitten off here. Should probably use pliers. Okay, that is a sandwich right there. Going in the cooler on ice fish number one of the day. All right, but what I was saying, I kind of mumbled it. Um, I chose to use a four aught circle hook right here because it is small enough to uh, be able to grab those those bigger size mangrove snapper, but uh, it's also big enough to get handle a snook or a redfish or a trout. Um, it should have worked fine. I'm just free lining them letting them drift under the trees or flipping them under, up under the uh, mangroves. And just like that, I should be able to catch mangroves, sheep's head and redfish and trout all day long here. So we shall keep it going. I'll try a small shrimp here. Oops. I'm gonna try a small shrimp here. I like rigging shrimp just through the uh, tail, just like, let me do this here. Just like that, just like that. That's how I like to rig them. Um, some people rig them through the head, but I'll rig them like that and then flip them up under this tree. Let me see if there's a bigger mangrove in there. That one was 12. I want to catch a, I want to catch like a 15 plus incher. I think I could definitely do that today. All right, so we're dropping under the tree. Oh, that was a snook right there. Oh, is that the snook? Did he just eat it? No. No, I lost him. Oh, that was a mangrove. Small snook was looking at the... All right, we'll drop it in there. It looks like it's just the tail left on there. Oh. Yep, on. <laughs> oh, look at that big snook. Oh, crap. A <laughs> like a slot snook just chased the freaking mangrove snapper out of there. That would have been sick if he would have clapped it. That would have been cool, but little guys... Might have to uh, catch a bunch of these today to find the big ones. All right, well, I'm thinking about it now. I uh, I got sent this new reel by uh, Florida Fishing Products. It's their Carbon Edition uh, reel. This is a 2500, so hopefully you guys can see that pretty well there. Um, I'm not being paid to say this or sponsored or anything, but uh, I will be using this rod, testing it out for them, seeing how it feels, seeing how I like it. Um, so if you guys have any uh, comments or 
anything about Florida fishing products. Have you guys used their reels before? Let me know down below. This one is, uh, I think it run, starts, it's like 200 something dollars. So it's about equal to this 2,500 Stratic I was using in price. And uh, we'll just have to test it out here and see how, what the quality is like. Um, so let me know in the comments if you guys have used this reel or the other reels. I think the other one is an Osprey or the name of it is the Osprey. Um, so let me know in the comments, but we'll be using this one here uh, for a while just to uh, check it out. Oh, nice snook, just ate him. <laughs> that was cool. So we're using circle hooks, so I just get a smooth, nice reel into him and should be in the corner of his lip there. That was cool. I felt mangroves thumping it thumping it thumping it but didn't get it so i i just reeled a little bit to see if it would entice him and i see the snook just eyeballing down the shrimp and he just engulfs it all right little guy but i will take it that is some variety so a little snook hopefully one day he'll be uh 45 inches or something like that but Got us, got some years to get there. Right now he's eating live shrimp and probably glass minnows. Let's go ahead and unhook him here. And back in the water you go, buddy. All right, let's uh, let's keep going. Alrighty, guys. So I'm coming at you with a little drone uh, voiceover here. I actually I recorded all this drone footage and I never turned on my chest camera, so I've got no audio. Um, or video from that but um, as you guys can see here there's an open flat and I saw these snook with my you know with my eyes so I was like let me put the drone up maybe I'll get a cool shot or something and uh, I actually did but as you guys can see here there's in the bottom right half of the screen there's like those 12 those are your slot snook those are probably all I don't know 24 to maybe 34 inches um, in that range and then if you guys look just to the left of those there's three giant snook those are those 40 inch snook that are you know so hard to catch and I'll show you guys here in a second they actually slide away just as I come into frame but those are those giants right there those are the ones I'm always looking for but having a little trouble finding but top right of the screen you can also see you know five to ten more of those slots snook they're really everywhere here but I uh, I come into the frame right here I fast forwarded it and as you can see those those big snook have already disappeared they've kept their distance uh, like they always do but slot snook are still sitting there in a little group they they don't don't know what's going on at all but i actually take my live shrimp here right here i flip it under that tree i was throwing at a snook and actually i get hit immediately and it ended up being it was just like a i don't know hand it was like a pinfish like the size of my hand so i reel it in um up to the boat here and i literally just pick it up and just immediately launch it into the school of snook and and this is what happens so flip it in there right there immediately one of them grabs it you almost can't even see you don't even I don't even see him eat it it happens so fast but he goes running up into the tree here and uh, like snook always do they run straight into structure um, and you can see it from the drone view perfectly right here that fish knew exactly where to go turned on on a dime and went straight into the uh, looking for those trees there but ends up going in a circle around the boat you can see all those head shakes of him trying to shake the hook there going in circles I end up having to just go in a 360 with the boat as you can see once again straight for the trees i had to put the brakes on there he almost got in there um actually very very close but what happened here is that the pinfish was just shaking around on the line a lot um i get him back to the boat right here he's uh starting to give up really this this snook was probably 28 to 32 inches some somewhere in that range um but they start going in circles hard head shakes at the boat and just like that through the through the pinfish out of his mouth i think part of the reason he he was able to shook it there or shake it was actually because the pinfish was still on the line had it shaken off i would have had a much better uh feel on the fish and i think it would have held but lost fish but cool footage either way There we go. Absolutely not a monster whatsoever. But I'll take it. Oh. You can hear that pop right there. That's all little snook just blasting glass minnows. So watch this. I want a snook to get it, but there's nice mangroves too.
Oh. Felt like a Kubera or a bit. Yeah, it is a Kubera. How did I know? Yes, sir. I knew that thump. I knew that thump was not going to be a mangrove. Yes, sir. I think Kuberas have to be 14 to keep. I'm going to check right here. Let me get them in the boat first. Now I want to jinx myself. Yes, sir. Check out that Kubera. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. I knew the second I, <laughs> I knew the second I felt that thump, I was like, I think a Kubera just hit. <laughs> Let me double check the size regulations, and then uh, if he's good, I'm gonna put him in the uh, on ice, and then if he's not good, he will uh, go back in the water. But let's see. All right, minimum of 12 inches. That is. <laughs> Way bigger than 12 inches. Alrighty, so check. Ooh, look at those snaps. Check that guy out. That is a nice Kubera snapper. I'll uh, lay him on the measuring tape right here before I put him on ice, but I'm gonna say he's like 17 or 18 inches right there. They only gotta be 12. You can tell they're a Kubera by those uh, those big stripes on their uh, on their back, actually. So I see some stuff blowing up under that dock. For all I know, there could be a bunch more Kuberas sitting under there, but I'll go ahead and put him on ice here. And uh, like I said, live shrimp catches uh, <laughs> it catches everything. All right, on the ruler you go, zero all the way to, he's an 18 and a half inch fish right there. Sick, let's put him on ice. <laughs> nice, got our 12 inch mangrove and our about 18 inch cabera. We're, we're, we're doing good. in the world was that? <laughs> what the? <laughs> if that was a Kubera in the same spot the other one, that was probably 20 pounds. If it was one, I don't know, it could have been a big snook, it could have been a big jack, it could have been a shark. What in the world, dude? drags fairly tight too for around these docks holy crap what the heck was that <laughs> yes sir Snook is fired up, man. All right, this is, come here, buddy. All right, second snook of the day right there. Uh, about maybe a little bit bigger than the last one, but these snook right here are just totally destroying the glass minnows. Or maybe this is my third or fourth snook. I can't remember, but destroying the glass minnows under the dock and seems they like shrimp too. He's biting on my thumb. Turn around here. See ya. Yeah, I just still wondering what I hooked a minute ago. It was it was right before I caught this snook. Could it have been a bigger snook or could it have been a big Kubera? Oh well. Well uh, we got a few more shrimp in the in the bucket. Let's keep going. Dude there's something huge down there dude. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a big rod, put a circle hook on it, and hopefully I can hook whatever's down there that is freaking murdering the shrimp and taking off. All right, literally last shrimp in the bucket. So hopefully, bigger circle hook, heavier leader, heavier tackle right here. I'm gonna go pretty much lock down drag with the 5500 spin fisher. I can find out what this fish is. Uh, maybe it's like a. 20 or 30 pound goliath that's sitting under there and is just thumping the shrimp and taking off and breaking me off so i don't know we'll find out right here fingers crossed
Yep. Oh, God dang, dude. I can't win. Oh, I have no clue what that fish is. Drag is so freaking tight. Like, I will cut my fingers before that drag turns. <sighs> well, whatever it is, it wins today because he got me. All he has to go is 10, 15 feet in there to get to the uh, a dock piling that breaks. Jeez. <laughs> All right. Well, end of the video. All right. And that wraps up today's video. So let me know in the comments what you think that fish is. That was three times. I got just thumped and just straight into the pilings, like full speed. Um, even with the heavy tackle, lockdown drag on the 5500, couldn't freaking stop it. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments what, what kind of fish you think that is. I'm thinking it was either, I guess it could have been a huge snook, could have been that, a giant kubera or a uh, a small uh, small goliath. I, I, I don't know, I never saw it. It just thump and just zzz. I <laughs> No words, but hope you guys enjoyed that. The live shrimp fishing, it's always a lot of fun, nonstop action. And uh, if you guys want to check out the Mystery Tackle Box, didn't get to do much with it today. Um, I was so, <laughs> I was addicted to the live shrimp today. But if you guys want to check it out or try it out, um, the code is Justin. You can get your first box for as little as $10. And uh, if you don't like the MTB box, you can just cancel it. So I, uh, I got a bunch of stuff, got some jerk baits, got some paddle tails in there, got a uh, deadly combo. That's not really for here, but more for like a texas area thing but if you guys want to check that out link in the description and uh yeah i'll see you guys in the next video Sweet.